Did you know that the Philippines has the power to shut down the entire global economy? I know it sounds ridiculous, unreasonable, and frankly, insane, but it's true. It's not a fantasy, it's highly likely. Keep watching to understand how and why the Philippines can indeed shut down the global economy in so many ways. As usual, skeptics might doubt the possibility of the Philippines becoming too powerful to influence the entire global economy because it's a developing country. Let me remind you again that the Philippines was once second only to Japan and Manila was named the Paris of Asia because of its historical and cultural significance as well as its architectural and urban similarities to Paris. Both cities have a rich colonial history, with Manila being heavily influenced by Spanish and American colonial periods. While Paris is known for its iconic French architecture and historical landmarks, additionally Manila has been known for its vibrant arts and culture scene, much like Paris. If you've been keeping up with recent news and doing your own research, you might find this video boring. But for those who mostly trust big media or the mainstream media and don't check out other news sources, this video will be very interesting for you and you'll be surprised by what you discover. Before I continue any further, I'd like to highlight an important issue. Lately, I've noticed some odd remarks about my content. Certain commenters seem to believe that I use an AI voice to create my videos, which is puzzling because my channel isn't completely faceless. My dedicated followers are already familiar with this fact. When I first launched this channel, it wasn't fully faceless. I've produced numerous videos where my face is clearly visible. Here are some samples. And one of the main reasons why I chose the Philippines is the beautiful landscapes, lush landscapes. And they're accessible everywhere. For example, this province is about two hours drive from the capital city. So just two hours drive, you can find lush landscapes, a beautiful area, a beautiful province where you can de-stress. If, for example, if you don't like the vibes of the city, you can come to the province, to this uh, famous tourist area, to detox and de-stress. Isn't this view astonishing? Since we're experimenting on how to budget 50 pesos for the entire day, it's not really an experiment to use a car. So instead, we're going to be walking to the different stores, restaurants that offer cheap foods and hopefully we can budget 50 pesos for the entire day. Okay, so let's go. Furthermore, in my upcoming videos, I plan to incorporate a blend of faceless and visible content. This means in certain scenes, my face will be clearly visible. Basically, it won't be entirely faceless. I normally don't ask viewers to subscribe, but I've noticed that some viewers might have the intention of subscribing and liking the video, but forget to do so. Take a moment and hit the subscribe and like button. It doesn't cost you anything. Now back to our topic. Here are the reasons why the Philippines has the power to influence the entire global economy. Reason number one, the South China Sea is vital for the global economy as it permits the annual transfer of product worth trillions of dollars. These waters carry nearly one third of all global trade, including essential energy supplies like oil and natural gas. If China tries to disrupt this trade, then it would damage the global supply chain and the health of the economies of other countries. The annual trade passing through the South China Sea accounts for more than 60% of global maritime trade, more than 22% of 
of total global trade and one third of the global shipping. Apart from covering an estimated 40% of the global petroleum product, over 65% of total trade of China and over 42% of total trade of Japan, trade passes through the South China Sea. Every year, at least 10 of the major countries are dependent upon the South China Sea. This region holds nearly one third of the world's entire biodiversity. Being in nutrient rich tropical waters, it has the highest density of seafood. More than 15% of the entire world fisheries are estimated to be in this region. Apart from this, there is an expected presence of over 220 barrels of oil reserves, as well as massive gas and other hydrocarbon reserves. Furthermore, the South China Sea has the highest untapped reserves of rare earth metals, which are essential in today's technology. Its waters are particularly critical for China, Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea. These countries rely on the Strait of Malacca, which connects the South China Sea, and by extension, the Pacific Ocean with the Indian Ocean. As the second largest economy in the world, with over 60% of its trade in value, traveling by sea, China's economic security is closely tied to its maritime dominance over the South China Sea. $5.3 trillion worth of goods transits through the South China Sea annually, with $1.2 trillion of that total accounting for trade with the US. This 5.3 trillion figure has been used regularly since late 2010, despite significant changes in world trade through the South China Sea in 2016. China's dependence on maritime trade is also a key reason why it has developed one of the world's largest maritime fleets. Maritime dominance also plays a key role in China's Maritime Silk Road Initiative which is conceived of as a project will help further the establishment of Southeast Asian economic integration. With China assuming the role of the major player, it is likely that both access to natural resources and the strategic gains of controlling access through the South China Sea are driving and will continue to drive the Chinese government to pursue its claims in the South China Sea. Just imagine for a second that a war erupts in the South China Sea between the Philippines and China. Can you imagine what will happen to the global economy? Another obvious reason is the strategic geographical location of the Philippines. It is the natural gateway to the East Asian economies, having one of the most active and resilient economies in the Asia Pacific region. It is one of the largest archipelagos in the world, having about 7,000 islands and islets divided into three major island groupings called Visayas, Luzon, and Mindanao. Situated at the crossroads of the Eastern and Western business, it is a critical entry point over 500 million people in the ASEAN market and a gateway of international shipping and air lanes for European and American businesses. The third reason is the importance of call centers in the Philippines to the global economy. Globally, the Philippines is recognized as the call center of the world. Since more than a decade, outsourcing has had a major impact on how business is done and now companies are finding ways to maximize profits from outsourcing. Calling the outsourcing business revolutionary would be an understatement as business process outsourcing to countries such as the Philippines have had a massive impact on businesses worldwide. The Philippines, in fact, is one of the fastest growing countries in the world as far as BPO is concerned. Today, the Philippines on its own covers 15% of the global outsourcing market and has had more than 1.7 million employed people with different skill sets. Today, mostly owing to call centers, the Philippines BPO industry has had a total revenue of close to $23 billion and is currently growing at a rate of 16% compared to the world famous Indian BPO industry. 
The following are the main reasons why the Philippines is the PPO capital of the world. 1. Exceptional Literacy Rate The Philippines produces more than 450,000 graduates annually and has more than 95% of literacy rate owing to that reason, with an unemployment pool adding to 38 million and with specializations across call centers, BPO, accountancy, etc. Filipinos are qualified to work for BPO job, including call centers, which is a big advantage for potential investors. Number two, cost-effective solutions. Labor costs in the Philippines are very low compared to most Western countries. And while they are still high compared to India, most Western companies find it at the perfect nexus of cost to skill ratio. Three, progressive government policies. Apart from offering TESDA courses to train people in call center and other PPO jobs, the government has also set up new subdivisions, such as the Department of Information and Communications Technology to provide further support to the PPO sector. Or neutral accent. A small but an extremely important reason why is the Philippines the PPO capital of the world is because compared to other PPO giants around the world, the country has more than 93% proficiency in English speaking. Because the people are accent neutral, the call center employees find it easier to connect with customers, while also being aware of American idioms and slangs as compared to their counterparts in India. And don't forget, India was colonized by Britain, and there was a slight difference between North American English and British English. The Philippines is famous for providing lots of nurses all around the world, and more than 25% of all nurses in North America are from the Philippines. This is, isn't surprising because the country focuses on education, speaks English well, and values hard work. Things that make Filipino nurses great. But why is the Philippines the number one place for sending nurses around the world? The following are the reasons why Filipino nurses are preferred all over the world. Good education and training. The Philippines has strong schools that teach nursing really well. They cover a lot of important topics, making sure nurses are skilled in taking care of patients and handling different aspects of healthcare. Hard work values. Filipino culture believes in working hard, and this shows in the nursing field. Filipino nurses are known for their dedication, working long hours, and giving their best to their job. Their strong work ethic is appreciated globally, making them wanted in the healthcare industry. Affordable nursing education. Getting a nursing education in the Philippines doesn't cost as much as in other places, especially North America. This makes it appealing for those who want a great education in nursing without spending too much. It also means there are a lot of nurses available and they can work all over the world. So without Filipino nurses, the aging population of Canada and many countries around the world could have seriously suffered. The Philippines is the world's main supplier of sea-based workers since 1987, making the country the manning capital of the world. Around 300,000 Filipino workers are on board merchant shipping vessels around the world at any given time. Overall, Filipino sea-based workers comprise more than 25% of 1.5 million miners worldwide thus becoming the single biggest nationality block in the shipping industry. It's no surprise that Filipino seafarers have made a mark in the maritime industry. The Philippines is the second largest producer of coconut products in the world, next to only Indonesia. The Philippines also exports to major markets non-food coconut products. Canada's agri-food and seafood imports from the Philippines were valued at 148 million US dollars. The top three agri-food and seafood commodities imported by Canada from the Philippines include coconut oil, desiccated coconuts, and bakery products. Over the past decades, the Philippines has been known as the world's largest supplier of 
overseas workers. Among these fields, domestic helpers remain one of the most important jobs for Filipinos overseas. Many families in different parts of the world rely on Filipino domestic workers for their household need. Do you think the Philippines have the power to shut down the global economy? If you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button before leaving.